गाइस इफ यू आर डन विथ बेसिक्स इन कोर जावा नाउ इट्स टाइम टू जम्प टू एडवांस जावा टॉपिक्स सो इन एडवांस जावा यू कैन डू डिफरेंट वेब डेवलपमेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज सो इन दैट वी हैव फर्स्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एज सॉर लेट्स विच इज यूजफुल फॉर क्रिएटिंग वेब पेजेस सो इन दिस वीडियो गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट दिस सॉलेट टेक्नोलॉजी वॉट इज सॉलेट वेर इट इज यूज हाउ इट इज एडवांटेजेस ओवर अदर टेक्नोलॉजी सो वॉच माई वीडियो टिल एंड गाइज लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो गाइज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन टर्मिनोलॉजी नोन एज सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग सो सॉर्लेट इज एक्चुअली अ सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग विच इज यूजफुल फॉर क्रिएटिंग वेबसाइट्स और वेब पेजेस सो नाउ बिफोर दैट आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू वॉट इज सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग एंड देन आई विल बी जम्पिंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज सॉर्लेट सो लेट मी टेक यू टू माई वेबसाइट सो गाइज दिस इज माई वेबसाइट अंडर एडवांस जावा यू कैन गो टू सॉलेट टॉपिक एंड हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट सॉलेट सो गाइज नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वाई सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग इज नीडेड ओके सो हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस डायग्राम वॉट इज गिवन इन दिस डायग्राम सो हियर इफ यू कैन सी वी हैव वॉट डिफरेंट क्लाइंट सो हु आर क्लाइंट योर ब्राउजर्स आर नथिंग बट क्लाइंट्स सो हियर वी हैव क्लाइंट वन क्लाइंट टू क्लाइंट थ्री वी कैन हैव मल्टीपल क्लाइंट्स एंड हु आर क्लाइंट्स ब्राउजर्स आर नथिंग बट क्लाइंट वेदर इट इज मोजिला फायरफॉक्स और क्रोम और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज इट कुड बी any 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 client okay so uh, since it is uh, web development so your program will be run on your browser rather than on your system on your particular application okay so here uh, assume that this client is nothing but your google chrome or microsoft edge so client is sending request what does this mean so suppose you have open google.com and there you are trying to search some uh, product so what that google.com will do whatever query you have entered it will send that query to the server google server okay because um, browser does not know how to process that request so browser will uh, transfer that query to the server now what server will do server in turn will generate result or response based on the query of a, a customer or a particular client so uh, in different client sends different query and accordingly they get their responses so So here, uh, what is happening? Client is sending query, and query is coming to whom? Query is coming to server. So here we have different types of server available in market: web server and application server. Tomcat is example of web server, and Glassfish is example of application server. Guys, in my video, in my tutorial, I will be using Tomcat as web server. So here we have a web server. So this web server will have capability of running your um, uh, program or processes. okay so the code will uh, the code will be in uh, java solid or it will be in jsp or it will be xml file and that will be processed by your server and in in between that it may require databases or certain other services so it can use that so here you can see the request now sent to the server and server is using what this technology for uh, processing the request and in turns this technology is giving responses to server and server is returning response back to the client and this response is going to be in which format it is going to be in html format because your browser understands html so result will be shown in what html format okay so now here this is a server side programming concept so what happens in server side your processes or your request or your query is run on server not on the client or on the browser so here i have given example where this server side programming is used so generally it is used in banking or whenever you have online ticket booking or e shopping so there we use this concept so for example a bank is having 10000 customer and then uh, what is happening if uh, 10000 customer is there then uh, for that 10000 customer if we are not creating web application then we require 10000 program then how you will be handling the things like security and whenever multiple customers are sending request how you will be handling so in that case normal program fails so in that case server side programming works better so here this picture explains you all about server side programming so sorlet 
is an example of server side programming there are other uh, technology available which are again example of server side programming for example we have asp we have jsp we have ejb we have php all these are nothing but again example of server side programming and you guys can do uh, what is client side programming so you will get uh, difference between client side and server side programming so what could be benefit of doing this server side programming so when you are creating server side programming so all the program will reside on one machine and that machine is your server and if n number of client wants to connect to that server and wants responses they can do that so here the problem of scalability will be resolved in case of solid there is no problem of scalability what is the meaning of scalability scalability is what if number of users are increasing then also the performance is not going to be bottleneck or not going to slow down okay so and uh, here any number of remote machine or client can access the server program so they can send the request and they can get the uh, result okay and whenever you want to add any new functionality to already existing program so you don't have to do any changes on the client side only you can do the changes uh, uh, or you can add the functionality to the server side so client will be unaffected uh, by the changes which you have done on the server side another important feature or advantage of this server side programming is what if you are migrating or if you are changing from one version to another version then adding the patches uh, creating a new design pattern or adding new database can be done easily without bothering about the client client will not be affected by all this problems okay then another uh, feature like enterprise uh, feature such as resource management concurrency management session management security management everything will be handled by server okay now then next uh, thing is what they are portable and possess the capability to generate dynamic and user based content so portable means what uh, you can carry it anywhere or you can transfer from one server to another server and they can generate dynamic content what is the meaning of dynamic content dynamic content means what the result will be generated based on user choice for example i want to buy some product i am going i am uh, going to amazon i am searching that product so the result will be displayed if somebody else is searching something else the another result will be displayed or take the example of stock uh, website where you get stock details and it changes based on time to time so that is a dynamic and user based content so this type of application if you want to design you can design in uh, using server side programming come to our main point servlet so we have understood servlet is used for creating web application it is used full for creating dynamic application it is a, a server side programming uh, before servlet we had cgi the as a server side programming and the cgi uh, full form is common gateway interface but there were certain disadvantages of this cgi let me just discuss that disadvantages of cgi so in this diagram i am just showing you that here we have multiple request which are coming from a client so client has sent the request so here we have request here also we have request so many request is coming and you guys can see the load on the server so the load on server increases as the number of request are coming why because this request are considered as process if you know operating system so every every request is what nothing but process and and processes occupy more memories okay so here uh, as soon as one request come it is created as a separate process can you see here we have a request and that is creating a what cgi shell so for each client request a separate process is created so for example if there are 100 request which are coming through client so 100 processes will be created on server and just imagine the load on the server if 1000 um, uh, request is coming then 1000 uh, processes will be created on server so hence the server performance is bottleneck and uh, server will not work properly so hence we have another concept 
known as Sorlet and here guys you can see as Sorlet is a Java technology it uses concept of multi threading so you guys can see here the request is coming but there is no load on server why because this request is treated as a thread not as a process so thread as you know thread shares common memory okay so they share the memory hence there is no load on the server unlike your cgi where you ha you have seen there was load on the server once the multiple processes are created so here you can see as soon as the request is sent to the server the server is doing what server is creating thread for handling that request okay so hence um, uh, it will not create load on your uh, server okay so that's another benefit of using solid so now next thing certain disadvantages of cgi is that number of client increases it takes more time for sending the responses another thing for each request it creates a separate uh, processes okay and then it uses only few of the languages like c c plus plus perl so these were certain disadvantages of cgi hence cgi is not used so what we use guys for creating dynamic and um, uh, uh, robust and scalable application we use Sorlet technology so here are certain advantages of Sorlet or we can say benefit of Sorlet better performance portability robust and secure so why better performance because it creates thread rather than processes it is portable uh, because it is in Java so you can uh, run it on other machine also you can carry and run it and it is robust so it is robust robust means what uh, there will be uh, JVM available and a solid container will be there who will be handling everything like memory management garbage collection everything will be handled by them so there is no problem and then secure uh, Java is uh, known for its security feature and solid is based on Java so hence it is secure guys these are certain advantages of solid so um, uh, bottom line i'm just uh, uh, concluding my video so solid is a technology for creating web application uh, java provides an api for creating solid application so you will be having fully dedicated packages which you can use for creating solid application so you can create solid for responding to any type of incoming request and then you can deploy your solid application on server and you can create dynamic pages using that so i hope guys you have understood about servlet uh, what is servlet where it is used why we, we should use servlet and what are the advantages then also guys if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can uh, follow me on instagram and there also you can send me your queries and guys if you really like my video do hit on like button and share with your friend guys in my next video i will be telling you how to set up uh, tomcat server on your system then after that i will be telling you how to set up eclipse id for uh, this uh, running your uh, web application so for that we require java double e and after that i will be telling you how to set up tomcat in eclipse id then i can start with what uh, demonstration of java solid program so once i demonstrate one uh, java solid program then i will be coming back to the life cycle of java solid so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe for such more content thank you guys for watching this video see you in my next video till that bye bye